morning. Now then, the plan was today to spread some fertiliser on the wheat and the barleys, but it's currently minus two, and by the time this frost lifts, I generally think it might be a bit too sticky. So I have no idea what we're going to do for the rest of the day, but stay tuned. It's uh, one of them mornings, I've lost my top link ball. Just about to put the spreader on and I've lost it. I did just go and empty that trailer full of uh, muck down the road and I reckon I've made a rookie mistake and uh, I didn't put the pin in and then it, it's one of them top link balls that just falls out. Found it. It was lying in the middle of the road. Rookie mistake. Oh well. So I've just weighed this. It's a, uh, a liter of nitrogen, and it weighs 1.55 kilograms. 1.15 kilograms. So. We'll go on the Cavernand app. And what I want to be spreading is 18 metres, 125 kilograms a hectare. And I want to go 16 kilometres an hour, which is, which is 10 mile an hour. So it tells me to put the setting on 37 and the timing on L. And then we'll go down here and for the border plate, it tells me to put it on five. So I should go do a field size that we know is the exact size, put a bag in and see where we're at. We should nearly be empty um, when we've done that. But it's just, the sun's coming out now, it's defrosting. We're gonna do a few jobs, come back to this probably just after dinner when it's properly dried up because the sun's out and there's a bit of wind as well. Not too much wind, but um, yeah, there's a bit of wind. So that should help everything dry up and then we shall jump on the spreader and um, see how we get on. It's like minus one, zero degrees, but everything's defrosting because the sun's out. But anyway, look, 36 setting, if you can see. Each, um, there's this black bit around here, that's got numbers on, so that's naught to five around here. So this is on setting 37 because it's 36 plus one on there um, yeah we had to get ahead around it when we first looked at it I hope towards the end of the week we should be back in the saddle of this beauty um, it's looking dry it did the weather forecast did look like we we're gonna have a bit of rain but um, hopefully this one will come out to play at the end of the week we'll see Right, so uh, we've done two fields already. Uh, well, technically three fields, because in that one behind the yard, and that's joined to a little field. Uh, and then the one up near the railway crossing. So we've done three fields already. It's worked out all okay with the setting that I uh, first set it on, so we haven't had to tweak it. We are putting on 125 kilograms a hectare. I'm doing 10 mile an hour. Well, I'm not in the field yet, but I was doing 10 mile an hour. Um, so yeah, each bag we're putting in with what we paid for all this nitrogen. This will get you a bit uh, angry if you're farming, but uh, one thing my old man did was buy I think it was two load or one load of nitrogen uh, at 277. So each bag I'm putting in is 160 quid. But then next year, each bag is going to be 600 quid. So yeah, we're all right this year, but next year, obviously, we've got to finance the extra money for the fertilizer. Also, another thing is we phoned up for some red diesel from Diesel Fuel, the tractors. That has gone up a considerable amount. Um, now what the fuel companies are saying is you can order it now, fine, but you won't get it for two, two and a half weeks. And 
what you pay is gonna come out the day before you get it. So it could be, what, one pound and five P per litre now. Um, we haven't paid that. We might have to pay more, if you, if you get what I mean. It might be 180, who knows? So now the fuel companies are doing that, which uh, it just, everything's just seen, you're moving more lumps of money around, bigger lumps of money, there's more risk. And I honestly, with everything that's going on in the world, I obviously, I, I can't see anything going down in price. It's, it's unreal. And I can see a lot of British farmers packing up uh, simply because we're being outpriced it's, it's unreal but uh, enough of me moaning about that uh, we're going to carry on and what we're doing uh, for now anyway uh, we shall see what's what the crack is in the in the near future you know i'm uh, i'm probably not the best at explaining things you know i'm only young and 23 uh, as i get older i'll probably get better at doing that but um what i was trying to say as well is for a young person like myself and other young farmers and people who want to come in the industry, similar sort of age, you don't think that's going on with the prices, it's, it's frightening. It's, if, you know, fertiliser prices are a thousand pounds a tonne, chemical prices are stupid, uh, diesel prices are going up, we're getting priced out the job, you know, what sort of future and what sort of person are you going to be and become or have to become and what sort of farmer will you become if the prices stay like that um, you know for a young person in agriculture it's not looking very good I yeah it's uh, it's a difficult topic really to talk about because there's only one way the prices are going to go. They're going to keep going up. And if something don't get done, I don't know what. I don't know what we'll do. But uh, we've just got to be very sensible for a small farm like ourselves. What we do, uh, as I've probably said before, we're probably one of the smallest round here. We've, we've gained a bit more land, um, obviously with this rented land. But who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? Sorry to put a downer on things, but uh, I'm spreading some absolutely expensive stuff right now. And it's got to be put on accurately. You can't just, ah, oh, we'll empty the spreader out in this field, this, that, and the other. You know, we want to be done with hardly anything in the upper and. Uh, do it like that. It's, uh, all I can say is we've, we've got some good looking crops. That's all I can say. Uh, things are looking good. The wheats, the barley's, all seed rates been a bit nibbled. Um, but hopefully that'll pull through. We shall see. Right, over on farm two on the barley. This field done, barley looking well. Uh, I think it'll be glad for this bit of fertilizer. It's looking well, so uh, we have got this field of winter barley and two more fields up the town as well. But uh, we'll jump into two fields a week while we're over here on farm two, and then um, go on some more wheat back, back home line. So uh, we just need to get filled up by that now.
now then this field was ploughed power harrowed and then power harrow drilled do you remember on that uh, wet slow day job video that i did um when i was in the power harrow doing something ridiculous like one mile an hour it's this field and look how well it's established and you're telling me and people are telling me and telling dad and telling other farmers who've been doing it for years that no till this sat and the other is the way forward yeah all right it probably works on some occasions some conditions some farms some soil types but uh I've got nothing to grumble about that. What a bit of wheat. I really hope you stay there. Oh, what a beautiful day. carry on now then this is sort of a, a crop update and the fertilizer spreading session at the same session 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 at the same time uh, this is the fields that are after sugar beets so they've all been plowed power held and power held drilled and they all look very good now then, i haven't been filming too much today it's uh 20 to 4 now and I've still got two fields of barley to do and one field of wheat down here to do and then I might even chuck uh, a bag on one of the, the badly damaged pigeon field of all seed rape uh, so we'll see what time we get uh, but yeah just been busy so I haven't really recorded too much so apologies for that right so we're on the uh, winter barley uptown She's looking a bit yellow, she's looking a bit poorly, so uh, this is due uh, a bit of nitrogen, and a bit of feed. So, someone wants me on the phone. Anyway, they can wait. Um, you see Dad in the background, he's just checking if uh, the spreader matches up to 18 metres because, like I've said before, this spreader. You can alter the veins of where, well, not the veins, you can alter the, uh, the timing of where the fertiliser comes out on the veins. So it chucks it, you can set to 18 metres, 21 metres, 24 metres, 36 metres, 32 metres, or anything like that. That's what we liked about this spreader. You don't have to alter the veins, you just alter the timing on the side and uh, away you go, like, so. Spot on. Either way, I think I'm going to end the video here. Sorry, it's been a short one. I haven't moved the GoPro about too much. And it's a bit windy as well. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. And we'll see you again for the next one. See you later. Ta.